Good morning. It's Wednesday, September 7th, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, How Much is Enough? In our scripture is Luke's Gospel, chapter 18. Once a religious leader asked Jesus this question, Good teacher, what should I do to inherit eternal life? Why do you call me good? Jesus asked him. Only God is truly good. But to answer your question, you know the commandments. You must not commit adultery. You must not murder. You must not steal. You must not testify falsely. Honor your father and mother. The man replied, I have obeyed all these commandments since I was young. When Jesus heard his answer, he said, There's still one thing you haven't done. Sell all your possessions and give the money to the poor, and then you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. But when the man heard this, he became very sad, for he was very rich. When Jesus saw this, he said, How hard it is for the rich to enter the kingdom of God. In fact, it's easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich person to enter the kingdom of God. Those who heard this said, Then who in the world can be saved? And he replied, What is impossible for people is possible with God. Peter said, We've left our homes to follow you. Yes, Jesus replied, and I assure you that everyone who has given up house or wife or brothers or parents or children for the sake of the kingdom of God will be repaid many times over in this life and will have eternal life in the world to come. The painting of Christ with the rich young ruler reveals the angst-filled pathos of not having a clue when it comes to the destiny of our souls. The young man asked the elephant in the room question that everyone else was thinking, uh, Jesus, what's going to happen to me in the long run and what should I do about it? The men surrounding Jesus are listening intently. You can see the skepticism, fascination, and true holding your breath for the answer honesty in their faces. After all, you don't throw off the question of eternity like you discard a candy wrapper. This was important. Even a rich man with the world at his disposal couldn't resist asking for insight on eternal life. Jesus pointed the young man to what's written in Scripture about obeying God's commands, honesty, kindness, generosity, and so on. But the young man pressed deeper, and Jesus obliged him and went right for the underbelly of the issue. His answer was, quite pointedly, what's the most important thing you wouldn't want to give up? The answer, welling up in the young man's soul, made him sad, very sad. How can you let go of what possesses you? Peter, standing to the left of Jesus in the painting, is standing there with hands unfolded in a questioning motion. The artist, I believe, is giving Peter's voice that hopeful edge as he's reminding Jesus how he and the other disciples left all they had to follow. Was that enough? Jesus' answer isn't a get-out-of-jail-free card, a Christian believer's ID that you can present at the pearly gates. It's more of a reminder that the final judgment on each of us is in God's hands. It's the Father who looks into each person's heart and judges, repaying reward or punishment with absolute righteousness. For you today... The question the rich young man asked is not a bad one if you ask it with empty hands and open heart. But a better question might be, Lord, I've decided nothing I have belongs to me. So what should I do with it? How can I follow you today? You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.